Helo casting jumping out of a moving helicopter 10 feet above the water, moving at 10 knots. For members of Fort Drum's 10th Combat Aviation Brigade, simply another day at the office. 7 News Porter Zach Grady was on the river with the aviators for Monday's multi-agency exercise. The mental toughness, um, being able to take that first jump into the water, uh, especially knowing that it's going to be a little bit chilly, but having some patience I and mean, confidence in yourself. Confidence engineers from Fort Drum's 10th Aviation Brigade gained Monday morning as nearly 100 soldiers took the leap from the back of a Chinook helicopter into the St. Lawrence River. A lot of this is just showing our capabilities, showing that engineers can insert themselves into different scenarios in support of light infantry units. The all-day training exercise was part of a joint operation between Fort Drum, the U.S. Coast Guard, and several other organizations. There was a lot of uh, different agencies that had a part in this. Uh, the local environmental uh, considerations, police departments, Coast Guard, Army, um, making sure that the airspace is clear, the shipping lanes are free for when we're actually doing the helo cast. So there's a lot of coordination that went into this, and I believe this was in the works for at least 90 days. Alongside the swim back to the riverbank, the engineers were tasked with turning their gear into floating rafts. Just enables us to do more with our aviation assets, as well as insert us in different situations that benefit our engineers. First Lieutenant Darden says Monday's mission was a success. He hopes to be able to add more elements to the exercise for the future. I'd like to try to do it with Zodiacs, which is our, we have some small man boats that we can also launch out of the helicopters. Um, just give us a little bit more of that tactical readiness. The engineers say these exercises not only help teach real world tactics, but also how to coordinate with other units to execute a mission plan. Zach Grady, 7 News.